take the leg off? Yeah, started. I take the leg off. Yeah. But my granddad never like to take the leg off. And one time he eat it. It's not only one time. He need to go hospital because that leg stuck on his throat. Really? Yeah. The doctor need need to um take it off like that. Like, try to find a small leg it. like this. Ah, oh my God! What is that? Me, I'm so sick. Me, I'm so sick. Come on, come on. Did on the rest. Yo soy Franco Canadiense de Montreal. Yo soy Tailandista. Welcome to our channel. Today we are reacting to a vlogger from the United States of America called Drew Binsky for Drew the second Binsky. time. The other day he talked about the common misconception about Mexico. Uh -huh. And now he's going to tell you what you can buy in Mexico City. Mexico Ooh. City for $10. For food! Yes. <laughs> and we're going to try to compare to Thailand like if, if it's cheaper or not. Mm. Because from all of the video, I think what shocked us about the price is that it looks Mexico look even cheaper than Thailand. Yeah, we had this big portion. The yeah, food. big mm. portion, a lot of things. Avocado is cheap also. Oh my god! We love avocado, but it's so expensive here. So yes, a lot of the fruit that are exotic here are probably expensive in North America. But the reverse is that the kind of food that you have and we don't have it's super expensive. Mm. Like strawberry or avocado yeah. or even orange and apple, it's expensive for us here. Mm, tequila too. Tequila? Yeah. Okay. The tree? <laughs> okay. Okay. If you want to suggest us something, there's a Streamlab link in the description. For a small donation, we can do one of your suggestions. Yay! Okay. Let's, Let's get, get started. <laughs> Let's get started. I'm going to show you what $10 can get you in Mexico City with a mask on. I think it was in July. La Ciudad de México. A city that I've always wanted to visit but never really made the effort. Why? I'm not really sure, to be honest. I have managed to visit several of Mexico's coastal towns but never the biggest city in all of the Americas. Nowadays, with COVID-19 restrictions, mm. Mexico is one of 15 countries that are accepting U.S. passport holders. So I've decided to make the journey down, and I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. So behind me is the Bellas Artes, which means beautiful arts, mm. and it's absolutely stunning. It makes me feel like I'm back in Europe. I'm totally overwhelmed with things to do, foods to taste, and people to meet inside this thriving cosmopolitan city that's wrapped up in the charm yeah, of wow. its colonial past. Can a city get any better than this? Yeah. 10 US dollars is about 220 Mexican pesos. It's time to see how many things. It's 22 for one dollar, okay. Let's see. We are having here like a tacos de canasta. It's like a very typical dish from Mexico City. Okay. So basically it's like a small tortilla full of grease and then you put inside beans or potato. Beans, potato, pork skin. skin. It's cheap, right? Yeah, it's really cheap. Yeah. Alberto, are you hungry? I'm hungry. Oh, he's hungry. Okay, huh? let's get some food. Tacos de canasta, which literally means basket, basket tacos, tacos, are exactly what you think they are. Authentic Mexican street food tacos that are cooked and steamed in a large basket. How, huh? how many years you've been like cooking this? Uh, I mean, do you know? 21 years. Wow. So for six pesos each, which is 24 pesos, which is a dollar. A dollar for this plate of wait, wait, wait. grease tacos. Why? It's so greasy and slimy. Um, why basket? Oh, because maybe they made it in the basket or it's from the basket? Mm, do they have like some meaning about that? Because you know, in Thailand, we also steam something, but it's not a basket, but um, but that that pot made from bamboo, something like that. Oh. Yeah. Um, I think it's also the same material or or not? I'm, or I'm this not one? Sure, but, but it's bamboo? not. Yeah, but it's not look like basket, but it's um, they make it look like pot, but we also steam like steam bun, something like oh, that. Oh, maybe you're onto yeah. something. But all of that for one dollar. Yeah, this so is... 20 cents. Is it avocado on top? What is it? No. Sauce? I don't know. I think some sauce. Hmm, maybe. But it's a lot. Yeah. One dollar for everything. Oh, man. Is that ice cream? Basket the cool. I quickly found out that sound is not the ice cream man. It's a guy cranking out a tune on his organ, famously known as an organillero. Organillero. He plays a song. Oh. It's as simple and awesome as that. <laughs> nice. We headed to Centro Histórico, or the heart of the city, into the notorious Zocalo Plaza. Zocalo Plaza. It has been a popular gathering place for Mexicans since Aztec times mm. over 700 years ago, and it's the world's third largest city square. Damn, the, the flag is everywhere. China and Imam Square in Iran. Somehow, I am more impressed oh, with... What? What? 
Wait, let me read this. Over 700 years ago, and it's the world's third largest city square behind Tiananmen Square in China and Imam Square. Oh, okay, the biggest square, like when people can go, right? Only two, one in China. And, oh, and it's the world's third largest city square. The one in China is really famous. Tiananmen Square in China Man. and Imam Square yeah. in Imam Square in Imam. Okay, number Somehow, two. Somehow, I am more impressed with Zokalo because it's absolutely empty <laughs> due to COVID-19. I think this is the first and only time that I'll be the only it's tourist. Good. <laughs> You're gonna be able to take every picture. But it's beautiful. The first thing that caught my eye are the shoe shiners, so I had to give it a try. Uh. Uh. The shoe shiner shiners. became popular in the wake of the Mexican Revolution a hundred years ago when the city saw an influx of migrants in search of work. They can still be found scattered around the city, and they do a pretty good job at cleaning every part of your shoe. You know, from... I'm, I'm talking about this, right? Because long time ago, people just don't have a lot of shoes, and shoes quite expensive, especially the one made from like whatever cow skin, you know? So, cow skin? Um, uh, the the skin okay. of the animal. So you're gonna have that kind of people doing the job like that, and they still uh -huh. can make money. But in this moment, I feel sad a little bit because everything like copy and copy and copy, and then um, it's really really cheap. So people have a ton of shoes so it made that job kind of disappear because well, people mm. not really like to fix the shoes anymore or clean the shoes they just throw it away do you know like what that. i was thinking during the whole thing and it's going to sound bad i saw a video about india uh, they have the people that bring um poops in their pocket poop? and they're gonna pretend like poop is gonna drop on the people's shoe uh, and then they're gonna, oh. they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna say, oh, I know who can help you clean it. So they're gonna bring you to a shoe cleaner like this, but it's part of the scheme, right? Oh. It's part of the scam. Oh. And then they're gonna charge you money, but the guy that dropped poop, I don't know where the hell the poop come from, but the guy that dropped the poop is part of the scam. And he's bringing you to a guy that will gonna clean your shoe. And I was thinking about that, but I know it's not a scam. I was just thinking of that Indian uh, oh. video. Wow. <laughs> Oh yeah. Because you need to be careful with these two interactions because sometimes there's gonna be a third guy, part of the that's oh. gonna try to intervene and, and make you believe something and I've then never seen it. I've heard of that. That new news no but every country has really <laughs> elaborated scam even Thailand oh. you have some very yeah. crazy scam and and these oh, are very creative you see this kind of thing make people scared of yes exactly and but then, you know I some mean, people they are very really willing to do it and it's yeah. part of their job but no well during the what's going on the world mm -hmm. a lot tourist industry getting destroyed all over the world yeah uh, really about a dollar. Just like new. What you gonna do? Honestly speaking, I've never had cleaner shoes in my life. They're like fresh off the wow. shelf. Clean. One could say that Mexico's around one bot or less. Like I've already heard 33. the organ player, and now I hear a guy playing a very distinct whistle sound who has an awesome souvenir shop. Wow. <laughs> Wait, what, 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 what the hell is this? What is that sound? Whistle, whistle sound. sound. Who has an awesome souvenir shop. With some kind of instrument. Animal. Yeah. yeah. One box. Thirty. Okay. We found our way to La Ciudadela, which is a traditional market that specializes in all kinds of Mexican handcrafts and folk mm. art. And I'm gonna find the oh, most beautiful thing I can get. The, the wrestler and Luce? As a symbol of name? Mexico through the annual celebration called Day of Yay. the Dead. They are pretty neat and much cheaper than I thought. Dia de los Muertes. Okay. Wow. <laughs> One box, to keep our energy something. flowing, we stopped by a small coffee shop, and I was not disappointed. Here we have Café de Olla, which is a Mexican coffee that is served in this beautiful pot, and it is made with cinnamon and raw dark sugar called piloncillo. Oh. It's so good because it's so sweet, but it's not. it doesn't feel like you just poured a bunch of sugar packets in it. It just feels really naturally sweet. Mexico one City is quickly becoming one of my favorite food destinations in the world. With over 20 million residents, the diversity of options has far exceeded my expectations, and I just can't get enough. Little taco shops can be found on every corner, but some of the ingredients might have you at the edge of your seat. <laughs> Camila, what's on the menu here? There's wild pig, there's deer, tacos, wild pig? and there's like a lot of box. We're gonna get some grasshopper tacos, which are apparently really popular and famous to eat. And they don't sound that great, oh. but I'm pretty sure they're gonna be better than this. Grasshopper. 
Quinn. Mm, why so familiar? Because because you don't know where Grasshopper is? No. Sure. Yeah. Oh, this is my favorite. It's your favorite? Yes. Why? <laughs> I love it. Yeah. It's especially when I was young and it's really expensive. It's not sour, no? <laughs> it's not what, sour. What does it taste? It's mm. expensive? Now it's really expensive because it's really difficult to find. Um um back then, you know, I really love it. I even went out like uh, to the farm with my family and then tried to catch it. It's because it's this guy not good. It's like to eat like um our rice in oh, the farm. The rice? Yeah, so we and eat them. What do you eat it with? Just Put it in your mouth. Oh, oh, you you find like how to roast it, some rolls into the pan. Put a little bit of salt. Usually we just gonna put salt. Some people don't put fish um, fish sauce. You know, it's Thai style when we cook. Oh. yeah, that's it. Nothing much. Okay. Mm. Um, guacamole, grasshopper, guacamole, oh, guacamole. Oh, so they put it in there. Sauce. Wrap it all together. Oh yes, guacamole, look. Grass guacamole, grasshoppers, oh, the cheese. Wakan cheese and spicy, and spicy sauce. sauce. Yeah, like you said, and then sauce. you make a small Wrap taco. Wrap it all together, and there you have it. Did you take the leg off? I don't know. Did you take the leg off? Yeah, bad. I take the leg off. Yeah. But my granddad never liked to take the leg off, and one time he eat it. It's not only one time. He need to go hospital because that leg stuck on his throat. Really? Yeah. The doctor need need to um take it off like that. Like, try to find a small leg like this. Ah, and it's really difficult. It really hurt if it stuck. Yeah, that kind of stupid. <laughs> As you would think, and the grasshoppers actually give it a yeah, nice crunch. Like <laughs> to cap off. Three box nineteen, but we don't know how many yet though. Mm. How many yet? But cheese, <sighs> cheese looks so cheap here. Yeah. I mean, cheese is two times more expensive in Thailand than Canada. Like, let's say you have a brie cheese for like uh, I don't know what. Uh, Five bucks in Thailand is gonna be two fifty in Canada. It's so expensive the cheese here. Off an amazing day, we found one of the best desserts in Mexico City. Churro. Churros. Churros. Oh Asmodo yes. Churros is the most famous spot, and it's been around for eighty-five years. <sighs> oh yeah. There goes nothing. Oh. Mm. What is? This? Oh my God. It looked like the kind of uh, the kind of thing that you get uh, when you go to a sport event, right? Oh, and like you eat some. Uh, ants? Well, you eat your burger, your fry, and oh. then you're gonna have your pretzel and that thing, right, with chocolate or whatever, uh, oh. honey. It reminds me of that. There is something inside, though. Did they put something? I don't know. I would put cinnamon. I'm not sure. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. In total, I got basket tacos, an organ show, a shoe shine, a flute souvenir, a colorful skull, a Mexican coffee, grasshopper tacos, and a churro for $9.97. And that's what $10 can get you in Mexico City. See you later. Yeah, and again, he's an experienced traveler, right? If you don't know what you're doing, you can pay 10 bucks in Thailand for just one of the souvenirs. <laughs> the souvenir is really because like dangerous. You need to know what you're doing. If you know what you're yeah. doing, you're going to save so much money when you travel. You need to know mm. what you're doing. <laughs> Anything surprising you? Anything surprising you? Oh, yes, we knew that the taco were going to be soft, but yeah. you guys told us that it's not true that we don't, they don't have our taco. They do also. Uh, <laughs> but okay, thank they God. Do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like nothing surprised, but there's nothing really ex oh, nothing. But everything is really excited for me, you know. Sometimes I even dream about food, Mexican food all the time. Since I make a reaction video because I know that I wanna try the real one. Because people always say that it's really good and it seems really cheap and it's a big portion like me and Maxim, if we go to Mexico, right? We just gonna pay one buck for that because I'm gonna eat only one piece and all of that, just give it to Maxim, something like that. I think okay. it's quite cheap. So thank you for watching everyone. Yeah. Oh, I'm really surprised to I'm really happy to know that like Thai and Mexico have a lot in common when it comes to food. Mm. Because we love Thai food and Do you have mango too? Mango? Uh, we have not seen any fruit, the exotic food that you have here. Yeah. I think the climate is quite different. It looked uh, much colder in Mexico, I mean in, in uh, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Thank you for watching everyone. Please suggest us more and see you very soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.